I think it's just less than a second lag. But there's a lag. But this is uh, gonna be fine. Alright? Hey guys, what's up? Aaron here. And on this video, I'll be showing you how you can mirror your cell phone going into your desktop computer. Okay? So this will require a... Uh, you should be running like Windows 10 computer and also an Android enabled device in order for you to do this. Okay? So no third party software needed. We just need something to uh, extract the uh, folders like WinRAR and OBS because our goal here is to stream our mobile games into like Twitch, uh, Facebook, or YouTube. Okay, so let's begin. The link below, it will show up uh, mirror Android phone. Uh, it will proceed to your Google Drive. All you have to do is to click here to download the file. Okay, then it will be saved on your downloads folder. Once it's downloaded on your computer, it will show up like this. It's the word mirror. So for us to uh, unzip this file, we need to have WinRAR or an any other uh, unzipping uh, application. So when you need WinRAR, all you have to do is to uh, type WinRAR here and download this program, run it, okay? So once it's downloaded, then you should be able to see this option when you right click this mirror folder we need to extract this folder okay so right click and then extract to mirror what will uh happen is it will create another folder that says mirror on it and our goal is to see this to one folder in the file so what you will do is to drag and drop this file that says mirror okay and then um, drag it drop it on your desktop now this mirror folder here go inside of it select everything by uh control a okay control a it will select everything and when you right click and then cut or copy we'll just do a copy okay so we'll copy this and then we'll go inside of your c drive all right and when you get inside of a mirror folder, it's 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 gonna be empty. So on mine, I already have it uh, added here. So you will just right click on the empty space, and then select paste. All right. Since I already have it, it's gonna show up like this one. So I'm just going to replace everything. But if this is the first time you'll be doing it, you'll not see this step. Okay. So just skip because uh, I have them all in here already. So there we go. All right, so once we have them all in here, and then you've got this uh, mirror, mirror file on your desktop, you can just simply close it, okay? And now our next uh, step is for us to enable the uh, debugging on your cell phone, okay, USB debugging. And in order for you to do that, so this is an Android device. What we will do is we will enable the USB debugging okay so what will happen is we just need to go down here all right and then tap settings this gear icon on the bottom and from uh, the settings menu we just need to go to additional settings okay once you tap additional settings look for developer options all right tap it and input the uh, captcha code on this one it's the fft just hit use and it will open the developer options now what we'll need to do is to enable the developer options so as you can see in use for development tap to close if you want to close it just close it but we need it open so that we will have the uh, usb debugging mode all right as you can see it's disabled so we just need to enable it and then enable usb debugging prompt will show up just hit on and now we're turned on okay so our usb debugging mode is turned on and as soon as we connect it to the computer it will show up a prompt by usb okay it will show up a prompt asking you to allow usb debugging you just hit allow and there we go so this is the uh, 3.5 uh, millimeter stereo cable all right both male to male so both ends is uh, a male jack 
And uh, what it does is it will allow us to capture the audio coming from our cell phone going into the computer for recording or for streaming. And it will be connected on any uh, line in jack on the back of your computer. So it will show up. Uh, normally, it's a color blue one. So this is where you will connect it. And the other one goes onto your phone. Okay? So... This should be, again, on the blue one, not the headphone jack. The green one is the headphone jack. The pink one is for the microphone output. These two are outputs. This blue one here, that's line in, okay, for audio capture. So, all right. Going back to your computer, what we will do is to right-click and open the mirror file, okay, that we have on the desktop. Then, there you go. <laughs> we have our phone and our, uh, we have them both now, alright? So you can control this, so I'm going to go back on here, see how it's uh, so fast, alright? It's almost real time, without using any third party software. And it will also capture the audio, let, let me run a game, uh, let's say Call of Duty. So, once you've got this one here uh, connected, uh, you can run it on your OBS. See, I already set up OBS to run this game. See how they are synchronized. Just uh, like maybe take a split of second of uh, delay. Okay, so that's how it loads. Almost real time. <laughs> Alright, so it will capture the audio using this cable here. And this one is for our connection to your computer. So basically, uh, once you have it set up on your OBS, you can stream on your Facebook account, YouTube, or Twitch, anywhere you like. Okay? So basically, that's the uh, tutorial that we have. If you have further questions, feel free to put that on the comment section below. And um, like if you like this video. Subscribe if you're not yet subscribed and see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye now